So here's what happened with this team in the 12 months before the guy over my shoulder, head coach Josh McDaniels, got the job. John Gruden was fired. He was going to be there forever, right? Fired. Chaos. Their first round pick, Henry Ruggs, a receiver, killed a Las Vegas civilian off the team. Jail. They cut another first round pick in 2020. Uh, Damon Arnett, threats, internet, violence, Instagram, out. Two first round picks. Bye, bye. GM Mike Mayock fired. Okay. All the while, Denver, we thought was getting better. The Chargers were adding pieces. Kansas City in division adding pieces. So Josh McDaniels comes in and he takes a big swing. I'm going to get a wide receiver, Devontae Adams. They bring him in. But in the process, they give up a first and a second round pick in the draft. So they have had so many whiffs. The previous group of people have had so many whiffs in the draft or they've had to get rid of people in the draft that you have a very thin team with most of the talent on offense. I mean, in fact, look at the draft. Their, their last one, two, three, six first round picks. Cut, 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 cut. And then Josh Jacobs and Farrell, the defensive end, he's kind of a bust. There you go. And so they take a big swing. They bring in a receiver, give up two more first round picks and uh, first to second round pick. And, and, and they got some talent on offense, but not on defense. And then what happens? The offense has the injury bug. And Hunter Renfro is hurt. And Darren Waller is hurt. And the talent, which is completely lopsided, on the offensive side's got most of it. Two of their biggest stars get hurt. Okay. And then you look at the two and seven and say they're terrible. Okay. They're 0 and 6 in one possession games. Who was the team in the NFL last year that was terrible in close games? Minnesota. 8 and 1 this year. Offensive coach winning close games. The difference is there wasn't massive chaos with the Vikings. They just replaced a coach. Look at the chaos Josh McDaniels had to overcome. They're just losing close games. They're in it. All their talent because of so many whiffs by the previous guys on their top picks. Their talent's mostly on offense. And two of their three biggest stars got hurt. What are you going to do? I mean, think about this. The Raiders' point differential. They're in games as minus 23. That's better than the Chargers in their own division that have a winning record. That's better than the Packers. Tennessee is right now 6-3. and three. They have a negative point differential. So Tennessee winning all the close games. Minnesota winning all the close games. Raiders losing them all. And they probably should lose them all because they're not very good defensively. And Darren Waller's great, can't play. Hunter Renfro's amazing, IR. This stuff is really, really hard. It's way harder than social media would lead you to believe. Most jobs are. But I think Denver needs to make a move. I'll defend the Raiders again. I would take the Raiders job tomorrow. I've had two former head coaches tell me, that Raider thing's interesting. You could keep Derek Carr. You could move him and get a bunch of picks. There's no cap hit. They got stars on offense. They got pass rushers. Like, it's not a bad job. And I don't think it's a terrible team. 0-6 in one possession games. I think the Raiders win about half of the remaining games. Believe it or not, they'll be viable. But this stuff is hard. And I think Mark Davis is being honest. Wasn't built in a day.